What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's The Sim Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? Anyway guys, today's video is going to be a little mod review and I really hope you guys like it because I have just, there's like little tiny mods, but these are mods nonetheless that I think everyone should have. So let's just get right into it. Also, really quick, this is not a mod, but isn't this so creepy how whenever you pause, the Sims turn their head? Why? Why is this a thing? This is so freaking scary. Okay, but let's get in back into the like the next one. Okay, so I really want to um, showcase Ravishing's Console Yourself mod, and it's a fully functional motion gaming mat, and it's like... It, you can place this like anywhere literally just like a rug and there's like eight different swatches and it's like one of those old school building games that you've seen like on the sims this for some reason reminded me of sims 2 busting out guys i just think the sims 2 busting out is iconic but i definitely think that this is a really good game for you guys just for like other you know just more gameplay in, in general um it's going to be linked down below it's ravishings and then i also want to get into one of my favorite mods so far it's actually the laundry service mod again all of these are going to be linked down below for you guys in the description box this mod to me is very, very useful because again, it saves so much time as far as laundry because we love laundry day, but at the same time, it can get a little annoying. So once your clothes are in the hamper, you can select laundry service or pick up, you know, all that stuff. And you can either do dry cleaning, quick dry cleaning or soft care cleaning. And I chose dry cleaning, excuse my Sims outfit. Okay, this is what happens when you have a bunch of CC and you didn't do all the outfits, but then it's ready in an hour and it's just super fast and it's like realistic. Like if you want your Sims to like not have that moment of like, oh, I don't feel like doing laundry let me just go do dry cleaning there you go boom you know you have it there anyway guys so the next one is one of my favorite ones and it's called the obsessive teen nod now this is a teen mod it has like literally 10 different interactions 11 animations i mean this was amazing i thought this was really cool it's by ozzy i believe again it'll be linked down below in the description but there is many different ones that you can choose from and honestly this goes with every single different kind of bench that you guys can have and i know specifically the base game bench this one is which is what it's most compatible with you can be eating a burger you can be sleeping i'm gonna show you my favorite one at the end but this is what this is a cute one this is like if you're doing more so like a picture storytelling if you're really into gameplay and you're going into movie mode a lot i think this mod is actually really good or if you just want to just create your own story in your head and you have your sim doing a specific gesture as you're doing this i think it just adds so much like this is so cute and then there's another one where i really wish that every single time sim sit down they do different things like this and this is one of my favorite ones where they're texting this looks so freaking legit and y'all can't tell me it doesn't I am here for this, okay? But anyway, guys, the next one I want to get into is by Wicked Pixel, and it's the Runaway Teen mod. And with this specific mod, it took me a while to really understand it, but I had to make a whole new sim. But basically, you go into more choices and play Start Runaway Plan. So once your team starts running away, it'll have in the corner, you know, Jesse has been given the trouble teen trait. They can discuss how unhappy they are and research running away from home on the computer. So basically, your teen can go and live on their own, guys. And this mod gets very, very deep. I didn't go that deep into it, but I just wanted to showcase this mod for people that wanted to or like might be interested in this for like a storyline but you go on the computer and then I had trouble finding it and I was like wait where is this button because somewhere on here it says that we could research this guys it took me a minute to really find this because again this was my first time playing it as I was actually showing you guys the entire thing so it took me a while I was going through different places I'm like the this where is this this has to be somewhere so then it's then it is right there I don't know why I missed it but I know y'all saw it and then you press plan to run away. Now with this specifically, you do have to keep going back to it. For, so first you have to do it just to unlock the whole like, the whole situation, right? Because you want to open up a, a way of being like, okay, look, she's about to go run away, all this jazz, blah, blah, blah. So you see your teen researching it, they're going through it, they're looking it up, and then you're going to develop a trait. And with that trait, you can start doing other things. You can also get other aspirations because now your teen is an official runaway. So after I did this and did a bunch of researching, you will see in the corner, it was like now she has achieved the street survival skill by looking that up. And now I'm able to talk to my siblings and I'm able to be like, okay, this is, I'm, I'm complaining about my family. This is how I feel. I just feel like this is like blah, blah, blah. And it'll give you so many more choices. Like once you start doing like more research um, and it'll pop up right here. Hold on, it's gonna do it real quick. Okay guys, cause I'm doing this in real time for y'all. So this is gonna be as, well, it's not real time, but y'all know what I mean. Um, but they're giving you different ways to be able to interact. And I'm basically complaining, saying I don't wanna live here anymore. I'm talking to my sibling. Again, this just adds so much gameplay and so much realism. And then as you guys can see, 
see I had to keep going back in the bottom corner you see street survival skill it's still one now when it gets to two I'm able to do more so I had to do a quick a quick a quick speed build speed through with this whole thing so that you guys can fully see everything and then as you guys can see in the corner it's gonna be like okay I had just passed the the survival skill so now I'm able to beg for food because I have reached level two so by then even look with number one you can still have already left but I decided to just go ahead and move out household now moving myself out as a teen so I'm solely dolo by myself and there's another way to do this you can also just travel alone with with your sim and then it'll start the whole runaway as well like you can just go to a club or go travel somewhere randomly and then now you're considered an official runway and you don't have to go back home if you don't want to but if you do they give you an option I just chose to go ahead and move out my household and I'm moving myself out and I'm going to be completely on my own so this is like look at her mad as hell because what, what was she thinking what 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 was you thinking girl because where were you gonna go where are you gonna go okay with this girl anyway but look she mad because she knows she regret that decision but this mod gets deep guys because i was playing in another household for something else and i noticed that there's more to this you can find the missing teen have you seen this teenager Did it? guys it's a whole thing i'd recommend this mod 110 percent because i just think it's so cool but anyway guys we're gonna get into the next one and it's deodorant functional deodorant now i know this sounds crazy you're like again it's deodorant like relax but i'm like no this is something that we should have gotten in the first place so for a minute it took me a while to understand why he couldn't use it but you have to put it in the inventory and if you do put it regularly like on the floor you need to like make sure it's leveled on the shelf so I did have to go into build and buy to make sure that I was able to um able to use it not download it but I'm able to use it and then as he uses it, you guys are going to see, he's going to start using the deodorant. Now, personally, I don't know who will be putting deodorant on like this, but it's, it's supposed to be deodorant. But look, guys, look how he put on deodorant. Um, I'm, let's just say this is hairspray. Because uh, who put in deodorant on like that? I thought I was going to do the whole underarm things and all that jazz, but I guess not. But at the end of the day, if you want to just make it look like, you know, your sim is doing some kind of functional hygiene other than just the basic stuff that we already get with the sims, I highly recommend this. So y'all let me know down below in the comments, what do you guys think about this and are you guys going to get this? Now, the next one is one of my favorite ones, and it is actually a freaking mod where your sim can go to a family therapy mod. Now, this mod is by a, a Deep in Indigo. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry if I am. And it has a bunch of different things. Like, there's family therapy, grief counseling, new family interactions, couple counseling, support groups. Now, I did have to make the father and, um, and the daughter fight a little bit so that I can showcase how to, like, actually do this whole thing. So I was making them snap on each other. Because she was like, you know what? You made my sister run away. I'm tired of you. I'm over you. And, you know, he spilled some drinks on her. Oh, I mean, it was guys. I mean... It was looking a little crazy. Okay, now I shouldn't have put shove. Well, I do not condone this, okay? But it was just for the sake of I was just trying to show y'all something, okay? But anyway, so after that, you can go onto your phone, and then in the corner, it, it'll, like, if you go far enough, it'll have literally the, the, the sign of Indigo, and it'll say Family Therapy, and then it has a bunch of different services. Now, this is where it gets a little deep because I was like, yo, what is this? So, of course, there's certain things that we can't go to because obviously they're open at certain times, but we can go to a support group alone or go to a support group with family members. Members, and I'm going to choose my daughter to go with because hello so I chose the mother I mean I chose the father and the daughter to go together and then this is where it gets a little bit even deeper so there's different ones where you can like you know you can do an addiction caring for caregivers good grief support the village mental health youth support so like maybe if your sims has the mod the base mental drug mod where they're vaping and stuff like that and they're like addicted to it quote unquote then you can actually go to support group for that and it'll be like an AA meeting like this mod gets deep guys I mean but there are certain ones that I just couldn't do because I obviously didn't unlock that one I only did the caring for caregivers because of course she is mad at her father now i did have to speed this up and they were they gone for a while but i did have to say that after this was whole, all done look at this their their relationship boom is now nice and friendly because before their relationship was not as good but now look at the father it's like even like it's it's there it, it was it was it wasn't like that before so that's really cool and i just want to showcase that mod for you guys now, with all that being said, let me know down below in the comments. Are you guys planning on getting any of these mods, and was this helpful for you guys? I'm actually working on this new thing where I'm doing timestamps with the mods, and if that helps you guys, please let me know down below in the comments. Again, thank you guys so much for subscribing to me, or just commenting, or liking, or just watching the video in general. Even if you are a silent viewer, at the end of the day, you are still a viewer, and I still appreciate your uh, support so much because, guys, again, I am so glad that I made this community on The Sims channel, and I'm just like, I'm just really grateful for 
for you guys. I'm grateful, okay? But anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. And let me know if there's anything specific that you guys want to see. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.